Okay, now I'm going to show you uh, four blocks from Taekwondo. These are actually considered uh, the basic blocks because they're like the first ones they showed you. So I'm going to show you a low block, a high block, an inside block, and an outside block. And the idea with these blocks, just like all the other ones I'm going to show you from Taekwondo, is you're trying to use these blocks to deflect away an attack coming in on you. Or at least in a worst case scenario, you want to at least stop it in its tracks. So for the first one, for the low block, you're actually doing your bring your arm up and you're going to snap it in like that. Because if you just stick your arm out, you're not getting any power. So you're going to come in, you're actually going to snap as if you're actually trying to hammer it out of the way. So that's how your low block's going to work. So in real time, for that one, it's going to look like this. Alright, the next one, for the high block, you're coming up and you're snapping this up. And as you snap that up, it should be centered with your head. So come up again, so you're going, you're snapping it in, and you're blocking like that right above your head. And the reason you want this centered is because if they come off at an angle and attack, if your hand's here, you'll block it. If it's over here, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna miss that, and it's gonna hit you anyway. So that's why you want it centered in case they come in at an angle. All right, so in real time for the high blocks it's gonna look like this. Okay, and for the inside block, you're coming in, and you're deflecting like a shotgun right down the middle on you or something. You're deflecting it out of the way by doing that. Okay, so real time for that one is gonna look like this. All right, and for the outside block, you're doing almost the same thing, but you're going the opposite way. So now deflecting it this way. So the real time for that block is going to be this. As you saw, I'm snapping with all of these. I'm snapping them out to get more power. Okay, now my cameraman, uh, George, is going to come in and help me demonstrate how you can use these in a real life situation. So I'm going to add a punch in, by the way, too. Just like, this is a general idea to see how I can counter, but I can actually do more than just this punch. So keep that in mind. So for a low block, if he throws like a low kick, I can block and then come in with a punch. Or now if he comes in like an overhand strike, I can block that as well and also follow that in with a strike. And for inside block that he's going to center my chest, I can knock it off here and then go in. And then for the last one, for the outside block, it's the same thing. All I'm doing is I'm deflecting it the other way and I can punch him again. So that's how all these blocks are going to be used in a real life situation. You can either do it with a punch like I did or a kick or take down or throw whatever you want to do. So that's all you're going to keep in mind. All right, thanks, George. Okay, so that's what's going to be your basic Taekwondo blocks. It's going to be the low block, the high block, the inside block, and then the outside block.